Hello, I'm Michelle Flores Gonzalez, COO here at Flores, a hospitality, grocery, and retail outsourced accounting and HR firm located in San Diego, California. Now that the new year has begun, businesses need to finalize their 2022 strategic plans and take action. But how do you know if your plan is complete or if you are missing something? Every strategic plan needs to start with the goals for the year. A methodology that many companies use to successfully is SMART goals. You can use these easy to follow formulas to evaluate your current plan. Are your company goals specific? For example, we want to increase revenue, but that's too vague. A specific goal would be we want to increase profits by 20% in 2022. Here's a tip. Your strategic plan shouldn't have more than three major goals for the company in one year. Goals need to be measurable. Once you have your goals in place, you need to take the goals to the next level. What are your measurable activities that need to go into achieving your specific goal? For example, we will reduce food costs by 5% in 2022 to achieve our overall goal of a 20% increase in profits. Another expert tip, measurable goals should roll up to the top company goals. You can have more one to three measurable goals for each major company goal, but it shouldn't be more than that. Achievable. You want to identify specific and measurable goals that are achievable by you and your team. If you did a million dollars in revenue in 2021, making your goal to grow to a 10 million in revenue for 2022 most likely is not really achievable. A better goal would be to increase revenue by 30%. Expert tip. You want and should have aggressive goals to grow, but if you keep falling short over your yearly goals, it's actually demotivating to the team and soon your goals will just be ignored. Goals must be realistic. This sometimes is the hardest criteria to follow. Are you setting goals and expectations that are realistic for your team? An example of this would be, we want to be the number one grocery retailer in the country, but you only have two locations in Southern California. To go national in one year is not realistic. A realistic goal would be we want to open a new location in Arizona. Expert tip, if you want to grow your business, it's important to dream big, but yearly goals should be realistic and obtainable. Lastly, have a time frame. All goals need to have a due date. It's good to have an annual goal for the end of 2022, but what are the quarterly and monthly milestones that need to be achieved to reach your end of the year goal? Here's a tip. Each department should have its own monthly, quarterly, and annual goals that they are responsible for. They should track and report back to the executive team each month on their progress so that the company as a whole will understand how well the plan is working where adjustments need to be made, and how they can stay on track. If your goals do not meet SMART goals criteria, then you need to revisit them. This will help ensure you are capturing the right items to measure and to give your team better guidance on their expectations and role in helping the company be successful this year. Our FP&A financial planning and analysis team can help you with your strategic planning, forecasting, analysis, and reporting. Give us a call today at 619-588-2411. We look forward to helping you and your business thrive.